Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, I got a different video for you today. Uh, I kind of already got started. I didn't start recording and I heard working in the shop and I realized, man, I should make a video on this. It's not something I typically make videos of, but I figured, uh, it'd be good content for the channel. So maybe, uh, there's other car guys out there, people who watch my channel, who's into this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I'm into. All right, so uh, today I'm out here working on a uh, an old muzzleloader. Uh, the breech plug was stuck, and I'll show you what else is wrong with it. But uh, for those who watch my channel, if you don't know, uh, some of you probably do. But I'm also kind of a amateur gunsmith. I I really enjoy guns and working on them. Uh, I I like to build like uh, Mauser rifles and stuff like that, but just uh repairs and stuff is kind of what i really really enjoy doing so uh, let me show you what i'm doing i kind of already got it got it out but i'll show you anyway all right so this old muzzleloader the breech plug was stuck uh you can see the uh it's completely rounded off so what i did first i tried uh it's a i think it's a 7 16 but it's completely rounded so i went a size smaller it was 11 millimeter and uh, just hammered it on there and it just stripped it out worse. So uh, I come over here, got my drill set, drill bits. And I started with uh, uh, four, uh, 1564, so that one right there. And uh, just drilled straight through the breech plug. Make sure the gun's not loaded when you're doing this because uh, the heat or the spark might ignite the powder. So make sure it's unloaded. But uh, I, after that, that was the same size as the hex so i drilled all the way through the breech plug then i stepped it up to a quarter and then i just kept stepping it up until i got to uh, 1964 so i've got this uh easy out here which is a 1764 i think or 17 i don't know what it is i don't see it right now but uh so took my hammer over there and I drove that sucker in there as far as I could get it. And then I just put a uh, 10 millimeter with a big half inch drive. And she's coming on out now. It should. This will not stay out of the way. Yeah, it's, it's free now. But like that, it's out. But you can tell that if my camera would focus, I just drilled straight through that breech plug. That way you, you're uh, reducing the stress of the tension, rather not stress, the tension that's on the threads by drilling through it, making that diameter bigger, it releases the tension. Or, yeah, tension off the threads. Dang, I won't focus. And that gives it just enough to uh, to bite to where it'll come loose. Uh, if this wouldn't have worked, I mean, you can tell I got plenty of, it is a 1764. But if I had, uh, if that wouldn't have worked, you can tell I still got plenty of uh, easy out left. I would have went a step bigger on this with the drill bit just to try to relieve a little bit more. But it's out. So uh, let me get this cleaned up. And I'll show you what else we're fixing. All right, so now that we got that breech plug out, uh, here's the other issue that we're having. As you can tell, right here, there's something missing. If you look up in there, the trigger is completely broke off. So we got to take this loose here. I think it's that pin there and uh, put a new trigger in it you got to be uh, very careful when you're making any modifications to the triggers or uh, locking mechanisms 
to our locked back that sear connection which is behind here you got to make sure that all that matches again or you'll have a uh, unsafe condition so i don't recommend anybody trying this at home unless you know what you're doing but if you do know what you're doing there's just one pin maybe maybe two i think there's, i just see one but i haven't really looked at it that close yet but we got the breech plug out this is next <laughs> 